The Sci Fora Film Podcast. Hello and welcome to the sci Horror Film Podcast. I am uh, not him. Nope. And he is not me. That is an important difference to remember. So, welcome to the podcast. Um, how are you, Monsieur Scott? Feeling a lot better, actually. I woke up, as you know, I woke up this morning and he loved it because I couldn't talk. No idea what it was. It, it felt like I had really dry throat. I just, no matter what I drank or anything, I just couldn't. I had no voice, and I have no idea why. But no, I seem to be okay now. Good. Stressing, stressing over Christmas, but that's nothing new. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, there's nothing beep. unusual. Man. I went beep beep then. Oh no, hang on. <laughs> um, the computer over. No, can't technical do that. Issues. Hey, we're having technical issues. Oh, um, I am a technical issue. <laughs> uh, right. So this week we are looking at three short uh, science fiction films. So sh- massively, uh, yes. yes, yes, all in all, in all, in all, and all in all, and everything. So onwards and upwards and onwards we go and everything like that, all that sort of stuff. Eyes down for a full house. Uh, and bingo. Yeah. Let's get ready. Izzy, wizzy, let's get busy. And all that kind of stuff. The first film is called On Off. Uh, it's on the Dust Channel. Uh, it says 2019, but as we know, sometimes that doesn't actually work out because things, things on the Dust Channel are quite often things that have been on YouTube for a while before they actually go on to the Dust Channel. So um, the, the, t- the date on them is not always... No. Uh, correct. Uh, anyway, it's a, so we'll say 2019 film by Thierry Lorenzi. Uh, the cast is uh, Carol Branner and Arben Badrak... Tara, no, Red Tarus. Sure, that's right. Uh, right, okay. The synopsis says Obsessed by a mysterious voice message, astronaut Meredith will face its paradoxical condition in order to stay connected to her humanity. I'm not absolutely sure how good English that is, but that's what it says. So, how, how much good English that we, that is? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't know how much good English that was either. Neither. And you rode up. Um, is it? I mean, it's a, it's a foreign film with subtitles and things. Yes, it's French. If I if I can gather from my language of not knowing what the hell they were saying. Okay. It, it's, I'm guessing it was French because when obviously subtitled into English, but it sounded like okay. I don't know. Um, I think one of the things I think was very well done is the fact that she's supposed to be a bit kind of like um, she's not sure what's going on. She's a bit kind of like, and the the shaky camera work really worked well with that to give that impression of her being kind of like not knowing what's yeah. going on and being yeah. Kind of, shaky on her feet if you like i think that worked really well it's one of the few times i've seen that done in a short in a short film where i think it actually has worked yeah and it's enhanced the, the whole thing um is it, i thought it was a really good film it's, it's like the, one i mean one of the most things you are you question yourself all the way through is is what's going on just all in her head 
or is any of it actually real? Yeah. See, this is the thing that's like I was. See, I I, I watched this. Tw- I watched this film twice. Um, once the first time, I I, I watched it. I watched. I completely missed. Didn't read um, the synopsis to it. Right. So I went back and read it afterwards. I was like, I was then thinking about it. And it was bugging me, like trying to understand sort of something in my head. So I then went back and read read it. No, no, the synopsis. And if you listen to the speech, there's certain parts of the speech he hears or you hear crystal clear. There's no, there's no sort of uh, like distortion or anything like that. Yeah. When it's them two, like the two main characters talking, it almost seems really distant, like it's um, like really soft and in the distance, like like you're listening to it from far away and not paying full attention to it. When I first listened to it, when I first watched it, I was like, maybe it's just something dodgy with my headphones or something dodgy with a recording. Then I read the synopsis and watched it again. And it, it makes so much sense because it's almost like she's she's so focused on um, the vo- the recording that she's found and focused on what's in her head, not what's going on elsewhere. So you, yeah, it's that's why she's like when he's talking to her, she's like yeah, whatever, and just not paying attention. And it it works so well the way that they've done it because it's you're sitting and you have to proper concentrate to what's being said. But yeah, but like, if you don't, you then almost get drawn into it. It's the fact that it's it's sitting there going, like I watched it the second time when I watched it, but it proves the fact that she was so focused on what she was focused on. Yeah. That everything else around her that she was meant to be paying attention to was irrelevant. Yeah. And it, it just, it, I think it was done so well. It is. It's done, done really well. And there's a twist in it that I wasn't, really wasn't expecting, it, which, is, which is good. I, I like it, especially in a short film, because... Mm-hmm. It's so easy in a short film for them to to do do things that make it so obvious what's going to happen, but then when you get a twist that you're not expecting, you kind of go, "Oh, all right, oh, that's interesting." You know, that's, yes. That's... And it was it was a really well done film. It was even even like literally up until the last minute, you don't really know what's going on fully until yeah. you see pretty much how it all until he actually explains it. And yeah, I sat there and I was like, I was. Going, what on earth is even the second time around? I thought I missed something, yeah. I had to explain it, and I was like, What on earth is going on? And in the chat, it's like it made a bit more sense the second time. I sat there, like it it works so well that even the second time around when I watched it, it I was picking up on things that I missed the first time, yeah. No, because I agree. of the fact that it's like I'm sitting there paying attention to different things, and it's just the same the effects in it as well. The, the effects when they're outside the ship, yeah. It was amazing. I loved the way that they showed the sort of no gravity, the zero zero gravity sort. That's yeah. so hard to do in any film, be it big budget, yeah, yeah. whatever. But I just I think there's so much about this film that's amazingly done. Yeah, no, I agree. It's it, 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 it is a really well made film. It's 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 a, yeah. It's a, I, I I applaud them for the work they've done on it. Mm. It's really good. Really good. Okay, that's a, a recommendation. Uh, recommendation then, the second film is also on Dust uh, from twenty 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 one. This is called Pia. Yeah, and it's a film by Tanuj Chopra. Um, that's about all I can find. All I know about it, really. Yeah, it's. There's not a lot else I said about it. The synopsis for this one says, uh, can an android have feelings? Can true love be resurrected through technology after death? When a family in mourning encounters a mysterious wandering service android, the family is forced to redefine its conceptions of humanity, relationships, and family. And they are indeed. See, this is this is another one that like last. I think it was last, the last episode that we've, yeah. got, that we've done. The fact that I, asked, that I said that you give me a group of synopsis, uh, synopsises and told me which one of the, it was to the film after I watched it, I wouldn't have put them two together because, no. yes, there's aspects of the film in the synopsis, and you can tell, but knowing that, it was still, it was still difficult, not difficult, but sort of still. 
completely, not completely different, but like had a- different aspects to what the synopsis said. Yeah. I think it, it, it did work because it still worked. And I see what they were meaning, but I just, I think it was described oddly compared to the way that the film was actually portrayed. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I do get what you mean. It, it's, I, I think the thing is that the synopsis is probably what the director wanted it to mean. But when you watch a film, sometimes you don't necessarily get the same thing from it that he was trying to put across in it. Oh yeah. And, and I think that's, that's part of the problem. Um, but it's, I mean, it's a, it's a very well made, very well acted film. Um, it's an interesting idea, but not necessarily a totally original idea. Yeah, this, see, this is one of the things I was sitting there for ages, and I, I still at the moment can't figure out. I know I've seen a film with that idea before. Yeah, can't place it though. It's no, me. I know exactly what you mean. I've, I've had the same thing. It, it's, uh, but it, yeah, I mean, it's been done before, but it, it's a. It, yeah. It's been. It's a good film. It's. It's uh, the way it's done is quite good, even though it's, it's something that's been done before. And I think one thing that I would say that, that kind of grabbed me for it with it was the start of it. it. The start of it gets you really into it straight away. You're kind yeah. of interested when from the start of what's going on, and you, you want to find out more. So you, it's you kind of uh, drawn into into the story by that. I think. It's, I think with it as well is the fact that. The effects on it, like with a lot of the films, even with Dustin, it's almost easy to tell with the effect. Yeah. That uh, part of the film where they find the truck and then find um, uh, gears are put into storage later. I sat there for ages. I pulled the screen and I sat there for about 20 minutes trying to figure out whether or not it was one person or if they were multiple, like if they were. Yeah. Uh, quadruplets or whatever and I sat there for ages and I couldn't pick out if they were like cuts of them if they were di- if, if they were the same like, if it was one person or if yeah, it was I, multi-layered what and it it's bugging me I know exactly what you mean it's, it's very interesting I can't imagine that they are all just people who look either the same or extremely similar yeah it must be multi-layered Copies of the same if, person. If it's multi, yeah, if it's multi layered, I'll say even with dust films, I know they've got a lot of money, but it's, just, but it's so well done. Oh, yeah, those, those effects, the, the effects of the, you know, the whether it's CGI, green screen, yeah, whatever it is, it, it's incredibly well done. Uh, and uh, it's a very well made film, and I, I think they've done it, done it so well with it. Mm. It's, uh, it's another one of those ones where you kind of look at it and go, how do you manage to make such a good film out yeah. of a short film with a, with a, you know, I mean, I can't see that it's got, a, it's had a huge budget. No. But, you know, it, it just, it does, it always amazes me what people could do with some of these short films, just yeah. how much they can get into them. Yeah, so that's, that's what I'm saying. It was like, it's the thing, like we said before, it's the fact you don't have to have, I get, I get the budget help sometimes. Yeah. I've spoken to people that have said, yeah, having a budget helps, but it's more the idea. And I think this is another one. It's the fact that, yeah, they've had, probably, they probably have had a budget to help them. But I think the idea, even if they didn't, the idea behind it worked so well with it that it's oh, just amazing anyway. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's a really good film. Uh, and as I say, it's, it's very well made, very well acted, and really interesting ideas. And I really liked it. Yeah, you liked it. I've got a minute. There is one thing, and I, I do this with a lot of films, even with feature films. Just, I, I had to chuckle a bit. It's the fact that she walks up, she activates and walks down the road, walks through the um, warehouse, and just happens to find a coat that perfectly fits her. <laughs> yeah. The, they're perfect. The sleeves were fine. It was fine. Just like, I did like the style of it. It was a very bad Max sort of film. Yeah. But it just happened to be that it was lying just where she was. Laying around, it yeah, just playing exactly what it was. Caught eye, and it fit her perfectly, and just the perfect fit and everything. And just... Absolutely. <laughs> well, why wouldn't it be? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I wish that would happen to that happen uh, all the time. Just walk down the street and go, oh, I found a jacket. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, right, the third film is from 2021. This is a film called Psychosis. 
This is uh, from Reader Films. We've done a couple of Reader Films before. Uh, uh, written and directed by Blake Ridder, uh, who also did cinematography and the editing. Uh, produced by Lucas A. Ferrara and uh, Louis James. Uh, cast, Louis James, Sarah Alexander Marks, Danny Parsons and Blake Ridder. Uh, music was by Gamma Skies. Well, I think it was by Gamma Skies. It's either Gamma, the band's called Gamma Skies and the track's called In a Spaceship, or the track's called Gamma Skies and the band's called In a Spaceship. I don't know which is which. <laughs> but there you go. Um, synopsis says, alone and locked in a nightclub, a man struggles to find a way out before his own sanity turns on him. Now, one thing I want to say before anything else with this is all of the other Ridder films we've we've watched yeah. have been well-made films, well-acted, well-put-together, but they've all had a bit of humour to them. And this one is really quite serious, which I wasn't actually expecting, to be no, honest. I, I, I did the same thing the whole way through. I was so concentrated on the film. But I sat there and I was like, there's got to be a one-liner. And yeah. like, even right up to the end, I was like, there's got to be a one-liner. There's got to be something that just to, to lighten the mood a little bit. And then when the ending came up, I was like, that was that was a lot more intense compared to his other stuff. Yeah, absolutely. It's, I mean, you know, it, it, it is well-made, um, but I wouldn't expect anything less because his films always look good. Uh, good cinematography, good lighting, well acted, um, you know, well edited, good use of the of music and that kind of stuff in it. Um, but it's such an interesting idea. Yeah. And it, it's so... I have seen the same idea used a couple of times, but not in the way that it's done in this. It's... it's no. uh, it's been it's done differently. The things I've seen done, but and it's handled so well. Well, I liked about this as well the fact that obviously it advertised this as a sci-fi film. I, I get that, and I read the synopsis, and I was like, oh, maybe it's uh, when I first went into it, I was like, oh, maybe someone, uh, instead of someone playing tricks or so on, something to do with um, medicine to have to get over psychosis stuff like that. Yeah, it was right until the moment where it actually went. You're in a spaceship. I thought I didn't. You actually, it's the only bit. And I was like, oh, wow. I think it completely threw me. Yeah. And I love that because obviously the other ones we've watched of his, it's been a bit obvious where the whole, like the technology side stuff, like, it, yeah. like the horror yeah. side of it. Went. But this one, and saying the whole twist of it threw me completely. And it's, it I, was, just, I think it was really good. It's that kind of like, you know, Put that thing that where he he has to make the decision as to whether or not he was starts all over again without knowing what the hell's going on, or he actually allows himself to just carry on. I think as well what I what I like is the way that he was done is it showed it it made me question whether or not the start scene of it yeah was a flash like basically like. The uh, the rest of the film is explaining what the first scene was. Yeah, why the way, or whether or not it was a past one, yeah. past like injection, and then it's then him starting again. I, th I think because to, at to the me, end of that's it, what it, yeah, yeah. I, when I got to the end, I realised that, that yeah, the first bit was the end of the last yeah. cycle and the restart of of it happening yeah. again. But I I just like I've got me. One big, and mainly just because of the fact that I would like drinking what he was drinking. It was a whiskey on the rocks he got given to him. <laughs> Blatantly obvious there. It wasn't, but that's my only gig. Um, I was saying the rest of it, though, I loved. I loved the whole twisting and turning and the whole, all the effects to it. And Yeah, uh, the effects were great. I can, I can totally understand why this is an award-winning film. Definitely. It, it's... It's so great. And I love the fact that it's got 
it has got the whole sort of bit to do with actual psychosis as well. It's the fact that you can do the same thing over and over and over and over and over again, expecting a different outcome. Yeah. Is is basically the whole definition of madness and psychosis and stuff like that. And the fact that it can happen one time that one time out of like he says on this one time out of five hundred times that he's done it. Yeah. yeah. The fact that it can happen there are than times. But the fact that I think is very well done because all in a film psychosis where it's a very, very questionable illness. Yeah. Very, very tab by people still sort of almost wince when you say to them, so you, you hear someone say, oh, I've got psychosis, you're a bit wary of them. Yeah. Still people out there do it. So do this with this film. And it, to me, as good as it is, and what like win awards and just be that amazing, I think is very, very well done. Yeah, I oh, know. I agree. I mean, it's it is a brilliant film. It's uh, it's so well made, so well put together, um, mm. and as you say, the effects are, are, are great, and uh, everything about the way it looks is just right. It, it works really, really well. Things like I said, I know. I we say we sit at Derek's office every. We do this every week, you know. Say yeah, they're good films, and um, we both we both make comment about the fact we make notes, made yeah. notes. Now, my whole thing is the fact that I have a book, I have a book next to me, it sits next to me all the time when I'm writing these films, I write notes in it, and I constantly, I was stopping and starting the film, or writing as the film going on. Now, every single film that we've done, I've I've got three, four pages, or at least two pages worth of notes. Yeah. Now, this film, I saw how good it is, because I was so drawn into it, so good. I've literally, I think I've got four four notes. Yeah. No, made of it, and they're, they're ones that, Basically, like we said, the cinematography, the acting, the, the note about the whiskey bit, and the effects. That's it. That's all I wrote down because I was so drawn into this film. Yeah, it, and it was it, so well done. It is. It's brilliant, brilliantly done. I really like it. Okay, so I, I will three... say though, it is nice as well mm -hmm. to see Blake Ridder in a film, not wearing his own merchandise. <laughs> That's very true. That is true. <laughs> I was expecting it. When I see when you see him sort of bowled into his get up, like he's going to be wearing a hoodie again. He's going to be wearing a hoodie again. And he won't. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is very true. So, yeah, we got three short science fiction films there that we, we liked every single one of them. You got On yeah. Off, um, Pia, and Psychosis, which I will uh, put the links up to, yeah. as always. Uh, so, so I know we say go and like recommend these films to everyone's going on. I will yeah. say I recommend Psychosis so much because it's Definitely. such an amazing film. It is, it is an amazing film. It's, it's really, really well done. So uh, we have, that's this week's, we have uh, one short horror one left to do, then a short science fiction one left to do, and then the Christmas one. Diddly diddly do. Oh, what? Reminded me how close we are to Christmas. Wow, look, you know. What can you do, eh? A Christmas show. <laughs> Christmas comes but once a year. Thank Christ for that. Um, yes, so. Uh, Next time we will be doing three more horror, 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 horror films. Horror. 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 That'll be horror. all translated into dogs. Horror. All the, the, horror. Yeah, they're all they're all gonna be translated into dogs. Yeah. So it's, so it's all gonna be baths, baths, barks and woofs. Horror, like, horror. Horror. Horrors. And we're gonna do the entire thing impersonating Scooby and Scrappy Doo. I don't know which is going to be which. Which is a swap. We should alternate it. Yeah, maybe. Get halfway, get halfway through it and then switch. I don't think I could do Scrappy Do. I could probably do Snoopy. I used to do Scooby all the time. I used to, being I was at work, my boss used to accuse me of being Scooby Doo all the time because she used to say to me, What's this doing here? And I go, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you.
Anyway. Yeah, so I could do a very good impersonation of Snoopy. S Snoopy? Snoopy. Yeah. Snoopy doesn't say anything. Exactly. Uh, yeah. So, um, that's it for this week. Thank you for doing what you do. That thing you do, what you do, 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 do. Are you talking to me or talking to the people that might be listening? You. Oh, okay. Um... Thank you for doing that voodoo that you do so well. Or oh. something. <laughs> um, and uh, stuff. Thank you to the people, person, I, individual. Yeah, thank you to Nate. Dust mite. It's Nate again, isn't he? It's Isn't Nate. It? Yeah. Thanks, Nate. <laughs> uh, we we will be back when we come back again next week. And uh, until then, as somebody much more famous than me once said, I'll sit there. Um, so, bye then. Bye. Bye. <laughs> The Sci Fora Film Podcast. Mm -hmm.